Today I'm reacting to the NBA players' watches. Watches of NBA players. And I know f all about NBA, nor basketball. NBA is a league, right? Yeah. I know f all about basketball, nor the players who play basketball. But I know that the NBA players get proper money, so I expect some proper watches. The only basketball player I really know is like Michael Jordan, MJ. You know LeBron James? LeBron James! LeBron James! Yeah, I know his name, like. LeBron in here, no? He's not, no, not this time. Oh, so you do NBA players, but you don't put LeBron James We've there. We've already done a full video on LeBron. Did we? He doesn't need to be in this. Yeah. All right. Before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're closing in at a million subscribers. So make sure you subscribe now. And if you want to buy or sell your watch, go to prideandpinion.com like everyone else. Get it done, son. We'll do this video very quick because I'm in a rush. We're and uh, I'm, I'm uh, going to buy a football club. <laughs> Yeah. We'll, we'll say no more. Buy a football club. We need to go to the bank. I need to take money out of the ATM and bring that to the football club. You pay them cash? <laughs> I'll pay them cash, boy. Devin Booker, Phoenix Suns. What's up, GQ? It's Devin Booker here, and here are my 10 essentials. All right, here we are with the, the Paddock 5711 Rose Gold. Uh, my favorite timepiece, for sure. My dad grew up collecting watches. And I used to always see you know, how much he valued them and cared about them, and he usually let me wear them a couple times. So cool to hear. My dad grew up collecting watches, and that's how I like watches. That's class. That's how watch collecting starts. But please, don't get me wrong. Like, you don't need to buy a 160 grand Patek Philippe to start watch collecting. Your collection is something personal, and the price never matters. Ignore the Instagram flex, buy the watches that you like at the price range that you can. So I was like, whenever I'm in that position where I can get my own watches, it's gonna be it. So this watch right here, I feel is, is very timeless and simple. I compare it to like a presidential Roly. You know, I feel like it's just here forever. Booker, Devin, Davin. Devin Booker. Devin Booker is wearing the Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711 or the Rose Gold Nautilus. The Patek Philippe Nautilus is a massively important watch in the history. First introduced in 1976 by the legend, the myth. Is he not real? He's a myth? He's Dead. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Gerald Genta designed the Nautilus. A cool story about Gerald Genta is, four years earlier, he also designed the Audemars Piquet Royal Oak. So he's like responsible for all these watches. Oh, ah, yes, that one. Yes, that one. This is the 26331. He didn't design that. He designed the K shape, the portal shape of what AP has, what Patek has with the Nautilus, and what Hublot stole. The Audemars Piquet Royal Oak was the first ever steel sports watch in a luxury range. And four years later, Patek Philippe brought out the Nautilus with the the reference number 3700 and that Nautilus was groundbreaking because Patek Philippe only made really delicate really elegant and really complicated formal watches and all of a sudden it brought out the sports watch today the Patek Philippe Nautilus is known as one of the most important watches in the world the movement that was produced for the first ever Nautilus reference number 3700 was made by who do you think it's made I'm in a rush. Can you hurry up? Honestly, I have no idea. Can you not name something? Gerald no, that's the designer. That's not a watchmaker. I don't know. Maybe he made watches too. I don't know. Yeah, uh, he did. They did bring out a watch brand. To be fair. George Bamford. <laughs> George wasn't even. Uh, he was. George was a kid at the time. That was. That was a free plug. George, good lad. No, I don't know how you come up with that, but anyway. Gégère Le Coutre. They literally made the movements for Audemars Piquet, Patek Philippe and Vacheron Constantin, and including that first ever automatic caliber in the Patek Philippe Nautilus 3700. The rose gold Patek Philippe 5711 that Mr. Booker is wearing here is worth between one fifty and one seventy-five thousand dollars Next, Philadelphia 76ers, James Harden. What's up, GQ? Nice beard, nice sunglasses. What a man. I'm James Harden and the Rocks. First piece would be the Rolex. This is a basic classic right here, classic Rolex. I think this is my, my first Rolex I got. I bought it for myself. I was pretty excited about it. I think I wore it every day for like a year straight. Nice watch, Rolex Day Day 2. Yellow gold, white dial, can't go wrong. Roman numerals, can't go wrong. Really good. Good start, like it. My mom got me this for Christmas, I think it was last year. So she kind of surprised me with it. It's a pretty expensive watch, so I didn't think she would get it for me, but she, she surprised me with it. I got her a Rolex a few years ago. Every day is Mother's Day for her. This watch is actually 
rare. This watch was only produced in one year. It was introduced in 2016 and discontinued in 2016. That's a bit mad, isn't it? So this is the Audemars Piquet Royal O Chronograph. Reference number 26320BA in yellow gold with the blue dial. On all the Royal Oaks in the reference number 26320, the six o'clock sub dial has seconds written in it. In a new generation that was introduced in 2016, the successor to the reference number 26320 is the reference number 26331. That's this watch. All the Royal Oaks in the reference number 26320 feature the seconds written at the six o'clock sub dial where the 26331 doesn't have that could you make a comparison maybe yeah cheers thank you that's rare that watch is worth at least one hundred and sixty thousand dollars at least and then on the left i see a piece of shit royal oak completely aftermarket iced out piece of shit. Not only because it's iced out with aftermarket diamonds, but this watch itself has a rubber bezel. Underneath the bezel is all rubber. What happens with rubber? It dries out. It's f***ing nasty. Even the chronograph pushers are rubber. I had a lot of these watches where the bezel had to be replaced, pushers had to be replaced. Watch is a disaster. And then he even made it worse by icing it out with aftermarket bullshit. This one right here, the AP on iced out. Well, this is a yellow gold sky dweller as well. Discontinued dial. Class. It's about 55 grand, like. A gift for my birthday. I think like three years ago. I, nah, I don't know. I don't know how many, I'm, I'm not here to count either. Who gives a shit, mate? You can buy them over 300 quid, mate. F off, beat your shit. I lost a watch. I lost a watch. I still don't know where it is. So whoever found the watch or whoever got the watch, it was a Rolex. I was hurt. That's expensive. That's a lot of money just to lose. Pretty cheap about my, about how my spendings, but anytime you lose any, any, any of these pieces is, uh, is tough. Another day day two on the left, by the way, F***ing class, with a diamond dot hour markers, completely factory set. Steph Curry, Golden State Warriors. Yeah, why, why are you showing this? Watch this be shit. Be sh it. What isn't? I f***ing hate the layout of this AP. So this is personally my least favorite ever Audemars Piquet Royal Oak produced, period, in the world. And then he also iced it out and made it absolutely f***ing rubbish even worse we call this the Audemars Piquet Royal Oak dual time power reserve that means that it has a dual time zone it means that you can see two time zones which I find it very handy as you may know right I love two time zones the only thing I really love about this watch is the size the size is 39 mil and that's for me the perfect size for a Royal Oak if you're interested in purchasing the Royal Oak of Mr. Vin Lue look up Audemars Piquet Royal Oak reference number 26120 OR and buy 300 diamonds and buy 300 diamonds whack it on or glue it on on, do whatever the f the watch without diamonds is worth between 35 and 45 thousand dollars the watch with diamonds is worth f all Giannis Antetokounmpo yes what the f is his name Antetou Antetou how do you go about pronouncing his name simply Yanis Antetokounmpo I really want to talk about this watch, but I've spoken about that watch like a million times because all these superstars wear these watches. This is the Rolex Daytona Rainbow, as we call that. Reference number 116595 RBOW. Worth between seven hundred and nine hundred thousand dollars Shalom, 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 shalom. Ooh. Who's Kyle Irvin? Kyrie Irving. Oh, Kyrie Irving. Brooklyn Nets. What's going on, GQ? Kyrie checking in here, and these are my essential things. Oh, nice watch. He's wearing a Rolex Sky Driller, yellow gold and a leather strap. One of my other essentials is my watch. I don't usually wear a lot. Usually, I don't even wear my, my Cartier bracelets, but uh, I just started wearing a timepiece. Good thing is, he is wearing a bracelet on his same wrist, but the bracelet is made out of nylon or like cloth or something. So it doesn't really damage nothing. You know, this is a Rolex Sky Dweller. I had no idea in terms of, you know, what I was doing when I was just buying this. I would pay homage to my dad. He had a, a really nice, um, he had a really nice watch, but I actually lost it. I lost his watch. That's a dick move, bro. It had a really nice band on it. And it's just a classic band, a brown leather. And I thought it matched perfectly with uh, kind of my personality, it's just, it has you can it pops out a little bit, but also it's really subtle and um, classic. His personality is like a leather strap. F***ing unbelievable, <laughs> mate. You have a Rolex Sky Dweller, which is the most complicated Rolex Rolex has ever produced. Watch is made in solid yellow gold. Lovely watch. Can I go now? Listen, I want to do a proper NBA video. Sh like NBA. Sh like, do you think that any of these NBA players can reach out, do a watch collection video with me live? Did I fly to America and let's do that? Hit all these NBA players in the DMs and, and Instagram and whatever the. F and then tell them to do a watch review video with me live. It's gonna be funny because 
I will throw some balls. I can't throw a ball. I'm short. They're not. I am fat. They're not. It's it's like contrast. Really good. Let's get that done. Nice guy, Dweller Made. Well done. Now I need to go and buy a football club. Let me see if I have some money. Yes, I do. Bye.